Controller settings are one of the most important factors to being good at Fortnite. If your settings are too fast, you can't control them, causing you to miss all your shots and mess up all your edits. If yours are too slow, you can't react fast enough or do intricate builds. You need settings that are perfectly optimized, and that's what this video is for. And if you're wondering what controller I'm using, this is the Asura 2 Pro, and it could be the best budget controller in gaming. They're sponsoring this video to let you know that at just around $30, this is packing the features of a pro controller. Like, it has two extra back buttons that are reprogrammable to any button, and can even be set to a turbo macro if you're into that. It has a textured back grip, and my favorite part is the Hall Effect joystick. That means these joysticks are way less likely to get stick drift, because instead of a physical connection where dust and particles can get stuck and cause drift, the thumbstick connection is actually magnetic, and you'll never have the issue where your character is moving without you touching the stick. And that feature isn't only in the sticks, but it's also in the triggers too. But the cool thing is that this works for PCs, laptops, Android tablets, Steam decks, the Nintendo Switch, and funny enough, even Tesla. It has a cable to keep it plugged in, or you can actually use it wirelessly with this dongle. Now, of course, this is sponsored, but I only take sponsors for controllers I genuinely think are good. And this thing for being around $30 is a good controller. It's built for competitive gamers, even down to the ALPS competitive joysticks in the eSport grade competitive triggers. What I've found is that usually the issue with cheap controllers is that they have this terrible input delay that makes them impossible to be good on. But this is just as responsive as any controller I've ever used, so there's no issue there. So this is an all-around multi-game pro controller coming in at a great price. So if you want to pick one up yourself or just want to learn a little bit more about it, it's called the Biatong Asura 2 and the link to it will be in the top of the description and in the comments. So go check that out, pick one up for yourself, and now let's go ahead and take a look at all of these settings. First of all, the way I actually play is I plug a controller into my PC and then turn on performance mode. I leave my resolution at the default and I leave all my brightness stuff at the default as well. Although for console, I do recommend Triton open going all the way up to 150%. It really helps on console. For audio settings, the only thing you really need to worry about over here is that you have visualized sound effects turned on. That is a massive help. And then into the game tab, I'm on central servers. Movement settings, pretty standard. Combat settings, pretty standard. These are what I use for my preferred item slots. Then the building settings, some of the most important settings in the game. We have reset building choice, I turn on. Disable pre-edits, I also turn on. Turbo building, obviously we need on. And auto confirm edits, I use both. So what this is doing is I click my edit button, I click my select bind, and as soon as I let go of that select bind, it instantly confirms. I don't have to select another button to confirm, and that just makes editing and resetting so much easier. Some people prefer double edit binds, but honestly, I think this is better. Then we get to go through all the extra game options. You can copy all that if you want. We get to the game UI tab, and this is kind of just what I use. Honestly, this entire top section is just personal preference, whatever you want to put it on. And then below the HUD scale, all this, I just leave basically all of them on except for these if you don't want. Otherwise, a lot of that stuff is important. And then we get to the touch and motion, which is basically the gyro controls, which is not something I recommend at all. Actually, I heavily recommend you don't use gyro aiming. That'll completely mess you up. And then we skip all the way over to the controller tab. This season, what I've been using to absolutely fry people, especially off the lightning bolts, out of the sky, off the wings. While getting to Unreal, I even hit some really nice snipes on these exact settings. The slide hold time is 0 0.075 seconds. Vibrations we have off, quick weapon we also have off. We're gonna turn on use advanced options and then set the build and edit multipliers to 2.0 on both of these actually. And in my opinion, this is the perfect build sense when you combine it with this look sense of 43% on both horizontal and vertical look speed with no turning boost. These settings are for linear, which is what most good controller players are using. And especially when we're talking about pro controller players, so many of them, like an absurd amount of them use this exact look sense, 43% with no boost. A lot of them also use very close to this build and edit sense. Some of them go a little bit higher, but the difference there is they are pro players. They're literally spending eight to 10 hours a day playing this game. So their feel for piece control and editing and building is way higher than any of ours, including mine. So that's why in my opinion, going 2.0 on both of these just means you can be really consistent, even if you're not crazy good at the game. Now that'll take us down to the ADS sense, which I think is so important this season. Again, I was just talking about getting people off of the wings, getting people off of the lightning bolt. Half of the map has the dash ability now. We have the new movement medallion. We still have people rifting through the 
the air. We still have people on dirt bikes and cars. Basically, there's a lot of situations where you need to hit pretty difficult shots on players out of the air or moving quickly. And almost all of that aim is going to exclusively be done with your ADS sense. So I think compared to last season, I actually moved this up one. I moved the horizontal to 7% and the vertical to 8%. And of course, combined with that is no boost whatsoever. And in my experience, this exact sensitivity can hit shots on players in all of those situations that I just listed off. Then that'll take us down to the look damping time, which is zero seconds. The input curve, which I said earlier, is linear. Then for dead zones on most controllers, I just go 10% on both left and right stick, and that works perfect for me. As for binds, if we're talking about this controller with these two custom paddles, what I use is L3, which is my left stick, to switch to my build. I set my back right paddle to edit, and I set my back left paddle to jump. So this means I can switch to my build, edit, and jump all while never taking my thumbs off the thumbsticks, which is basically the most important part about controller. I have sprint set to left d-pad so I can just hit it over with my thumb and then all the other binds are just default. Now to prove that these settings are good, watch this win that I just got while also using this exact control. And of course we're getting close. I feel like that shot should have hit, but okay. And not a match. 31. Oh my god, how did I win that? Let's go get involved in this little fight. Wow, he didn't even pick up the loot, bro. The build fight? Wait, I'm so not used to playing with this dash. Yo, there he is. Easy, let's go. Everyone's just working, like. Wait. Oh. The wings when paired with the dash is like actually OP. No, 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 my shotgun not reloaded. Guess this guy wants to box fight a little bit. I'm kind of down for that. I've been practicing a little bit. Can't get his. Yep, let's go. Dude, there's just always more people lurking. Like, oh, pyramided. Got out. Oh my god, this dash. And he's just gone. <laughs> what a creep. Like, really? Please don't run. Please don't run. Please don't run. You're already running. Bro. <laughs> 33? Guess I'll push. Hit him for like 60? 90? Let's go. We're looking good here. Bro, that skin literally blends in. That's crazy. That on one. 50 on two. That on two. That on three. Oh my sniper's not really good. Dead on four. I think this is the last good player left in the lobby. Or maybe he's not good? I can't tell. And he's just gonna shot way back. Right 65. Oh, I should have placed another wall. Bro, this guy won't stop running. Hello? Guess I'll go up. I got these, like, little dash medallions. Oh, bro, I needed one more second thing. No way. Oh my god. I mean, grab it. And my shotgun's not reloaded. Dude, we're trolling. Okay. Now you're dead. There we go. Oh my. I almost sold. Oh, there he is. Wait, is he real? I'm pretty sure he's real. Yep, he's real. Like, hello? The bad thing here is I'm literally 100 HP. But I just want... If I can dash the right direction. I just can't get one tap by a shotgun. I'll be so mad. I just gotta play safe. I don't have any extra heals. No way, he's emoting. <laughs> Let's go, bro. And just like that, I got my win on this controller, on these settings. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe. Hope to see you in the next one.